One year. What is it? It's listening to the weekend's blinding lights 131,400 times. Or it's Christopher Nolan's Tenet, slowed down 3,504 times. This year, we made 140 videos. That's 530 hours and 23 terabytes of footage. This is what a year is to us. Do you remember Bitcoin's price in early January? And what is it now? At the beginning of the year, we felt the fear of a looming third world war. We had just returned from Singapore, from Block Show, a tropical fintech paradise. We even filmed a documentary about it. But it, but it all, all seems, seems so, so far, far away now. now. We dropped our next film from London in Malta and didn't understand what would happen after. The virus was spreading throughout the world. We found ourselves imprisoned in our own apartments. At first, there was confusion. What will happen to us with our videos? We are locked up and don't know what to do next. But then we began to understand. In March, we released a documentary about what was happening in China. We asked our guests to film themselves remotely, and they told you about the situation firsthand. Honestly, we were scared, like the whole world. We thought there would be a crash, but instead there was a dawn. Our industry became one of the few that weren't hindered by the quarantine. In fact, it has even grown. People sitting at home began visiting crypto exchanges more, trading more, and watching more videos. And yet one thing remained wholly unaffected, marching steadily on, a step every 10 minutes, disregarding the turmoil descending on the physical world. Order amidst chaos. And we celebrated this inexorable momentum, an 11-hour live stream to overcome the dividing forces of isolation, an iconic Bitcoin habit. And two months later, we made the world's largest live crypto trading event, nine hours of knowledge from some of the smartest trading and investing minds in crypto. Did you like it? Towards the end of the year, you, our audience, blew up our list of most viewed videos and set a new record. The investing gurus caught your attention as the markets reached new all-time highs. Now winter is here, so we cozied up by rebuilding our studio. After all, these days, almost everything outside is frightful. Actually, you know what? Since you're here, we'd love to show you a bit of who we are and what we do. Mike was the leader of our team for most of this year. But like all things in 2020, change happens in the most unexpected ways. He now lives and works on an Israeli kibbutz, and we wish him the best. His shoes have been filled by me, Jackson. I'm now the head of the video team. And in stereotypical fashion, I only wear black. This is the way. And this is Giovanni, your favorite host. His Italian charm may be easy to watch, but his heart is hidden in an iron chest at the bottom of Lake Como. Here is Damien White, our director. With him, you've immersed yourself in documentaries shot around the world. And behind the scenes is Tim, our editor and photographer. He is also an electronic musician and a filmmaker. Here are some stills from his latest music video. And there is Andre, editor, motion designer, and live stream operator. He creates the videos and streams you comment on so actively. By the way, have you figured out how to comment on this video? In fact, the whole Cointelegraph team is in the video business. Chris, our managing editor, Rachel, our news writer, and Jay, our CEO. But most important of all is you, our viewers. This year would not exist without you. This year, strange and interesting, at times terrifying and absurd, but altogether unexpected. We have grown a year older. Bitcoin has grown by a third. Is this what a year is? We have been flying around the sun for millions of years. Will you make another turn with us? Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.